This case consider the issue of equitable compensation and whether or not a firm of solicitors caused a loss by a man when they released funds for a proposed investment without obtaining the proper security documents for the investment. In this case a man provided money to his solicitor to be held and used towards a proposed investment and executed a document which set out an agreement that the solicitors would act as his agent in relation to the investment. This agreement set out the terms by which the investment money was to be used. The firm of solicitors released the money to the proposed investment without obtaining the correct certificates confirming the existence of the investment which also provided for a large amount of commission to the party that was organising the investment. The investment company that received the funds later experienced financial difficulties and was closed down, and the man received nothing in return for his investment. He brought proceedings against the firm of solicitors and argued that what they did amounted to a breach of trust. But the solicitors argued that they should not be responsible for the financial demise of the investment and the actions of the investment company which occurred after the date that the funds were released. The central issue for the court was whether or not the actions of the solicitor amounted to a breach of trust and if the man was entitled to compensation for his loss. The court ultimately held that 